wrapped up his back, but it's gotten a whole lot riskier. It's Christmas! Hi guys, how are we all doing? And welcome to another year of Wrapped Up Baby. Yep, we're doing it, we're doing it again! Merry Christmas! So hi, how are we doing? Are we excited? Are we all very, very excited? Because I am. <laughs> so if you don't know, Wrapped Up is a series that I've done for a few Christmases now where I wrap up some of my books and then throughout the month of December, we unwrap them and it's so much fun. It's like Christmas throughout the whole month. I get to unwrap presents the whole month, but it's things I already own. So I started this two years ago and I wrapped up all of my physical TBR because I only had like 60 books or something, which is <laughs> ridiculous. But yeah, we did that our first year. And then last year I wrapped up all of my 2020 one releases. So this year I knew I wanted to do wrapped up again, but I knew I wanted to do something different. And so I thought about it and I thought, let's make it even more nerve wracking. I'm nervous as it is to unwrap stuff, right? I get nervous as it is, but <laughs> what we're doing this year is wrapped up risk. And what that means is I have wrapped up the 25 books I'm most excited to read and the 25 books I'm least excited to read. So we have a 50-50 chance of getting a book I'm super excited to read or a book that I'm not really in the mood to read. <laughs> It's crazy. It's crazy. I think this is crazy. No. Why have I done this? This is like psychotic. Why have I done this to myself? <laughs> Now, I do just want to point out, the books that I'm more excited to read do tend to be new releases, which tend to be hardcovers. The books that I'm less excited to read are going to be books I've had a long time, which tend to be paperbacks. So I did have to balance these out. So they're like the 25 most and 25 least with like, you know, <laughs> with making sure that I have equal amounts of paperbacks and hardbacks. But let me show you the 25 books that I'm most excited to read that are here wrapped up. Siren Queen by Nevo, Firekeeper's Daughter by Angeline Booley, Girl in the Walls by AJ Ganise, Girls of Fate and Fury by Natasha Niang, The Anthropocene Reviewed by John Green, Killers of a Certain Age by Deanna Rayborn, Wild Beauty by Anna Marie McCormore, Elatsue by Darcy Little Badger, Gallant by V. E. Schwab, Unraveler by Frances Harding, Yerba Buena by Nina Lacour, The Last Housewife by Ashley Winstead, The Woman in the Library by Solar. Gentile, Her Majesty's Royal Coven by Juno Dawson, Daughter of the Moon Goddess by Sue Lin Tan, The Adventures of Maud West by Susanna Stapleton, Only on the Weekends by Dean Atta, Someone in Time, an Anthology, The Restless Dark by Erica Waters, The Weight of Blood by Tiffany D. Jackson, The Inugami Curse by Sashi Yokomizo, Lord Edgeware Dies by Agatha Christie, When Women Were Dragons by Kelly Barnhill, And the Trees Crept In by Dawn Kurtigich, and Mexican Gothic by Sylvia Moreno Garcia. And now let's have a look at the 25 I'm least excited to read that I'm hoping I will beat the odds and won't unwrap any of. <laughs> Pine by Francine Toon, Educated by Tara Westover, The Cousins by Karen M. McManus, The Wife Between Us by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekinen, The Silence of the Girls by Pat Barker, When the Stars Go Dark by Paula McLean, The Essex Serpent by Sarah Perry, Year of the Reaper by Micaiah Lucia, Strange Grace by Tessa Gratton, Ghostwood Song by Erica Waters, A Psalm of Storms and Silence by Roseanne A. Brown, Rule of Wolves by Lee Bardugo, The Testaments by Margaret Atwood, the Night She Disappeared by Lisa Jewell The Unsinkable Greta James by Jennifer E. Smith Dating Dr. Dill by Nisha Sharma Don't Cry For Me by Daniel Black The Good Left Undone by Adriana Tregani Book of Night by Holly Black the Young Elites by Marie Lu. The Coldest Touch by Isabel Sterling. The Wolf and the Woodsman by Ava Reed. Concrete Rose by Angie Thomas. The Obelisk Gate by N.K. Jemison, And Every Line of You by Naomi Gibson. So that's the books. I hope we're excited. I thought I'd just do a little video letting you know that it's back and what we're doing this year. I am actually like crazy because why am I doing this to myself? Why? <laughs> Why am I making this harder for myself? But Wrapped Up will be uploaded every Tuesday. I'm also going to be uploading an extra video a week in December. So I'll be uploading Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. So you'll get loads of vlogs, loads of Wrapped Up vlogs, loads of end of year content. I This is my favorite time to make content. I am so excited for December. I hope you are too. Let's get in the Christmas mood. Let's get excited, everyone. And Wrapped Up will begin next Tuesday. I am so nervous. <laughs> 
So I'll see you there. Make sure you ring the bell if you don't want to miss any episodes of Wrapped Up and let's get into it. I feel like this year is gonna be the best Christmas year. Are we ready? I'm feeling good vibes. Wrapped Up is making me nervous though, but a little bit of risk makes life more exciting. So I'll see you soon guys, bye.